Hi there, everyone. Welcome back to On the Flip Side. My name is Adam Shawalker, your host, and today we're checking out this new album from the former frontman of the legendary gothic rock outfit, Him. Vil Vallow is back after an almost 10 year absence in recording with this new album, Neon Noir. And make no mistake, if you are expecting a kind of continuation of the work he helped put together during his time with Him, you will probably like this new project. And while I think it definitely is more in line with the early Him catalog as opposed to their last album, Love Metal, that is, I don't think that that is necessarily a bad bad thing as I feel like this is a bit more of a mature take on some of those older tracks, which in my opinion have been a little bit spotty on how well they've aged. Him, also sometimes referred to as His Infernal Majesty, is of course from Helsinki, Finland. They uh, did have a pretty solid run of records through the late 90s, 2000s, and the early 2010s, and even with a lot of their music and visual imagery being co-opted and used for better or lately for worse by Bam Margera, uh, they have lately, it seems, been trying to keep that link nowadays, especially minimal. In my opinion, I think that is one of the bigger reasons that Vil Vallow has opted for this solo project instead of a reunification of the band proper, but that is total speculation. Anyway, we've got this new album. Like I was saying, it is definitely on the more mellow side of things. A lot of points hitting uh, some really pop-heavy moments and taking a swing at genre classics, like on the track Forever Lost, which has this big sweeping chorus, which I think is giving some pretty heavy nods to Love Song by The Cure. This album does also include the three tracks that were released back in March of 20. 2020 on the Gothica Fenica EP, those being Salute the Sanguine, uh, Run Away from the Sun, and Saturnine Saturnalia, all of which feel like they have meshed into this new track listing pretty well. I think the writing and style of this album is luckily very consistent, which ends up being a uh, fairly big plus for the most part. Though at points that same consistency can also cause the flow of this album to get a little bit slow. This is for the most part a collection of mid-tempo love rock tracks with some moments that become a little bit glossier, a little bit bit more goth. There's definitely some metal production choices here and there, which has a tendency of making some of these tracks a little bit more tense than they should be at what feels like inopportune times. But for the most part, each of these tracks is fairly well thought out. Sometimes things do tend to drag a bit, but I think that is pretty standard affair for this sound. I think my biggest issue is that this modern gothic rock and metal sound has a few angles of approach you could take. You could go with the more aggressive, weightier, typo negative style, which I personally think is all around more captivating than uh, what this ends up being most of the time. You could also go for a bit of the goth throwback and lean heavier into that uh, Cure or Sisters of Mercy sound, which is touched on here very lightly for some flavor, for some added notes. There is certainly some post-punk and some synth-pop ideas that are brought to the table here, but they've mostly been filtered through this very European symphonic rock and metal style, which I generally find pretty obnoxious. It's like a slightly more punk Nightwish record. I think as it sits, the tracks here range from okay to pretty good. There's not really any outliers that are exceptionally bad, but there's nothing that stands out as particularly excellent either. I think they did a good job stacking this album as mostly top heavy. Echo Locate Your Love is a pretty classic hymn style track that ends up being one of the better tracks here. Run Away From The Sun is okay, but introduces this awful tambourine sound into most of the track, which from this point keeps on popping up in subsequent songs. It is mixed way louder than it should be and it is just used gratuitously. Neon Noir, as far as the title track goes, is pretty strong. It's kind of like a more trimmed down Venus Doom, and I think this has some of the best vocal work on the record, though that isn't necessarily saying much as Vil Valo really only has baritone or more baritone delivery, but at least this one grabs me a bit more. Love Lighting is, again, very heavy on the tambourine. Not sure why this is so heavily used, but it is uh, annoying. As far as the rest of the song goes, it's fine. Lots of floaty vocal work in these big cascades melodies that are pretty that eventually break into this sort of stompy, clappy bit that ends up being surprisingly catchy, but I think it's more out of the hideous combination of uh, collegiate rhythm and symphonic rock than actually uh, having any good ideas that mesh properly here. The Forever Lost, again, feels like a pretty big nod to The Cure with Vil Vallow's own spin on things. This definitely ends up being one of the better songs here. Baby Lacrimarium is probably the only track that I hear should just be dismissed outright as filler. The percussion is painfully generic. It is essentially a four chord love song with little to no substance. I guess if the goal here was being melodramatic or appealing to the nature of goth music for the fashion of it, then this song does nail that, but I don't think that that was the intention. This song uh, just feels like a bit of a stretch. Salute the Sanguine is another of the tracks off of Gothica Fenica, and while it blends pretty well into this track listing, this song and the others, Saturnine, Saturnalia, and Run Away From The Sun, do feel a bit more finished or more put together on the writing front in comparison to some 
of these other uh, middle of the record songs. In Trinodia, again, four chord love song with way too much tambourine, pretty generic structure. Heartful of Ghosts is definitely one of the better B-sides here with a way more interesting hook right off the bat with these brooding lows and leading reverbed out synth parts. There are also some really solid guitar parts on the later half of this track that are very well put together. Zener Solitaire and Vertigo Eyes end up being a really great pair of closing tracks with one song leading into the next as a building and then uh, finally a proper release of tension. Vertigo Eyes I think wraps things up on a particularly high note and while it is again guilty of the healthy use of tambourines that are mixed way too loud for their own good, this still ends up being a pretty solid track, one of the better ones on this side of the record. Overall I'm actually pretty unsurprised with my thoughts on this one. I have a fondness for some of the hymn catalog and I can look back at like Wings of a Butterfly, Killing Loneliness, or Venus Doom and I can look at that and I can appreciate it for what it is but for the most part with some minor exceptions I'm pretty well beyond where I was when I did listen to those tracks regularly and uh, they just don't land as well nowadays. Actually yeah the track Venus Doom does still land pretty well for me that song does rip pretty hard. Anyway Neon Noir is a fine album I think it definitely has a really slow pace that at points gets a little bit uncomfortable with the length of this album just being uh, shy of an hour. This has come up so many goddamn times but there really just needs to be one dude who comes into the studio right before an album goes out that just picks three songs and says bin them or put them on the b-sides for some singles or save them for like an EP or a rarities collection. That honestly probably would have helped this album out quite a bit. Anyway it is nice to hear some new material from Vil Vallow though I wish this album was maybe a little more adventurous maybe a little bit more to the point and a little bit less melodramatic. I think Neon Noir is a pretty solid five. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you thought of this album in the comments below. Remember to like and subscribe. Check out my Instagram, my Reverb, and my Depop. Links to all of those are in the description below. Thank you all so much again, and we'll see you on the flip side.